Hello, I'm Joe Kendrick for Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. Happy to be joined by Delia Lowe here at the Great Eagle in Asheville, North Carolina. The night before their CD release show, which is Friday night, and DeliaLowe.com is where you can find out more about them. The new disc, Ravens and Crows, of Stacey, Aaron, Brian, Anya, Stig. Well, thank you. Thanks. Good job with the name. <laughs> and so, uh, well, tell me about the new disc. It's a true CD release. Nobody has heard this until... We just got it. In fact, all five of us haven't even heard the fully mastered version. We have got it about 15 minutes before we got the band to drive out to Springdale. And um, we think it looks great, but we don't know what it sounds like. Yeah, we sent off the final mixes, and since then it's been mastered. And yeah, it's a true release. It'll be the first. If you get a CD tomorrow night, it'll be the first in the country. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> and actually a double release show. Yes. We're co-billing with Underhill Rose, who's also releasing their first CD as a duo. All right. Underhill Rose, too. And that show starts at? 9 p.m. And we opted to go first. We're going to start right at 9. So come at 9. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> okay. So uh, going places. Y'all are on Rebel Records now. And uh, it bodes well, of course. It can't be a bad thing, right? Great thing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really excited about being a part of the, the Rebel um, catalog. You know, if, um, if you know anything about bluegrass music, you've definitely heard a Rebel recording. Um, they've been around since the early 70s and um, originally were mostly involved with um, finding old recordings and making new, um, re releasing a lot of old um, uh, recordings. And, Mark and his father went around, and especially the father went around and collected all these old records, and they have been really instrumental in basically preserving uh, our old time of bluegrass traditions and blues traditions for, for a long time. So they have a huge catalog. They have an enormous catalog and have done a lot over the years for music, and, and of course, signing new artists has been a big part of their business um, as well. And, you know, all the early Tony Rice records. Ralph Stanley's on the um, <coughs> Steve Cannon Rangers put their uh, first album out with Rebel and uh, just until recently been with Rebel. So they've, they've also been both preserving traditions and discovering new music and getting that, getting the word out about all of that. So it's, you know, they've done a great service over the years for uh, music. Well, it's exciting. It's called Ravens and Crows. And you can get it first here at the Great Eagle. It's uh, starting on Friday night. And uh, also, I wanted to ask you. Obviously, you know, bluegrass is the, the focus of uh, every description of dealing with love. And uh, talk about being a bluegrass band that doesn't have a banjo, and maybe some of the pluses, maybe some of the hurdles that come with that. I think most people wouldn't call us a bluegrass band that are bluegrass fans. But those, the people who don't know that much about bluegrass, would definitely say that we're a bluegrass band. <laughs> but stage is going to new term. <laughs> what is it? Um, over at uh, Appalachian Grassicana. Yeah, Appalachian Grassicana. Yeah. That's what we do. We just <laughs> mash a bunch of words together and put something on the end. I guess for a, for a whole group of people that isn't already into the terminology of bluegrass and such, the sort of growing phenomenon of acoustic Americana type Appalachian music is the easiest handle is bluegrass. Uh, yeah. That's I, what happens. Yeah. And you guys don't play anything electric and you pretty much have you know the drum roll, so you know, things like that. Yeah, I think we're very, very heavily rooted in bluegrass for sure. But since we do mostly original music that sort of pushes those boundaries into folk and Americana and, uh, the instrumentation is bluegrass without the banjo. I think uh, I would say we do less tuning, but that's not true. I think the dobro tunes just as much as banjo does. <laughs> Maybe more. Or actually, yeah. mandolin <laughs> might tune. It's very essential to our lives. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, tell us what else, anything else with touring, anything in the near future? Uh, I guess. Deep South. We'll go to the Deep South. Mm -hmm. uh, California. New Orleans. Orleans, Jackson, Nashville. Yeah. Tupelo, Mississippi, where we so far we play in everyone's hometown except for Sydney. Oh, we haven't played your hometown. We've been to your parents' house, but so we're going to Jackson, Mississippi.
Mississippi. <laughs> we're we're going to play a gig there. That's where Stig's from. So. You have a, you have a, a assault rifle in your throat? <laughs> he, he's trying to convince us that Jackson okay. is a really rough place these days. So we'll see. Not rough like you got to be uh, hard to go there. Okay. What were we made? Oh. 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 <laughs> and it's a live environment here at the Great Eagle. So the reason why we're sitting inside, which is really okay. nice is that earlier we were on the patio and a storm came up, the floor is still about to come up. And then we had sound checks, so you know, we're, we're treading in unknown waters and we're having fun with it. So it, it, it's a bit of a gorilla sort of a film we have here tonight. Uh, Dillialo.com, come to the release show here at the Great Eagle on Friday night for Lingua Musica. I'm Joe Kendrick. Thank you all. Thank you. Thanks so much. LinguaMusicalive.com. Also, thanks to Jesse Hamm for doing such a great job with videography. Jeff Whitworth, great for letting us be here. And Scotty Robertson for doing practically everything else. I'm Joe Kendrick. Thanks. <laughs>